Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I meant to start the episode over there. But, uh, on my way back into the lodge, I noticed this, and I couldn't remember if I'd seen it before. The historic Elderwood Palace Lodge of Bright Falls. This building was constructed as one of the, earlier, uh, the early settlements in the greater Bright Falls area. Built in 1898, the building has been both in private and public use through the years, and has bravely stood the test of time. In 2015, it was carefully taken apart and relocated here in downtown Bright Falls, where it was rebuilt into its original glory, log by log. The Elderwood Palace Lodge reopened in Bright Falls in 2016 and has served its customers faithfully ever since. I was trying to think, is this meant to be the same lodge that was up in the hills where, uh... I can't fucking remember his name, where the mad scientist guy was, uh... Oh, Emil, Dr. Emil, was, uh... You know, treating patients, you know, the creatives with, uh, mental illness. Hmm. Also, on my way over here, I walked past those two people over there by the dumpster, and, uh, one of them had this to say. Those people just burst in here and expect others to clean up after them. I think they're so mysterious with their ridiculous masks, children in costumes. And hey, fun fact, if you actually go back and look at that clip, because I had to grab that with the instant replay feature of my graphics card, you can see the HUD for my recording program, the little tiny box right at the top of the screen. Huh. Uh, shout out to Yornick, who left a comment since this, uh, you know, session started, you know, hot off the presses. From what I've heard... It was actually the French who would cut off both the index and middle fingers of captured English archers. That's why, in merry old England, rude, the, the rude gesture has been BOTH fingers raised. It's probably a load of shite, but funny shite nonetheless. I just realized that this table is still here. The come get percolated a coffee world, even though the mascots are long gone. Do they not sell any samples? Or did someone come by and refill the thing, even though they were gone? Also, shout out to Clunk279, who says, uh... I like the implications of Tor's words. Saga's power... Saga's powers aren't just divination, but they allow her some immunity to being controlled. Saga might be what I like to call a fate-breaker, one who can throw a wrench in the clockwork of fate and predestination. Saga can fight the narrative imposed on her. And on a related thought, shout out to Elthwar, who says, Tor's comment that they aren't bound by stories is a powerful statement, since it suggests that Tor, Odin, and Saga can directly fight the Dark Presence. Jesse might have been the one written as a superhero to smash apart supernatural threats, but Saga might be able to defy snares placed down. Not perfectly, Tor almost being taken is proof of that, but there is a chance. Plus, it's nice to see her accept Tor, even at what is probably his lowest point as her grandfather, once she got evidence of it. That will probably do more to help him than Odin's bruise will. Let's see, hello. Uh, there's a thing there, and a bolt cutter thing on this little shed in between the diner and the station. Or maybe it's just a fenced-in area. It's really dim out here. Aha. I didn't even find this before. Bolt cutters! Tools used to cut through chains. Oh, god damn. Damn it, I've just noticed. Uh, optional, investigate the previously flooded area is still on. I definitely got the first one. Uh, 
Yeah, this is that uh, empty field, I remember. Just the empty... Oh. I think I've killed that guy, too. Oh, dear. Uh, there's just a man standing outside the fence, so there's not Another a dead body here. Box. But yeah, Alan went out here in order to find a manuscript page. The, the, the plot specifically directed him to it, as opposed to making it just a collectible. It was sat on the, uh, the seat of this car. I remember that. This uh, rusted out old truck. Let's see what this says. Work log? Seriously? Work log. January 1st. Overprivileged town hall folks complaining about poor TV reception. Hopefully not due to the paint job. January 17th. Took a photo with a giant moose statue in the park. Great memento! February 2nd. Damn dogs keep digging up the flowers. February 31st. There's only 28 days in February. 29 if it's a leap year. Uh, February 31st. Park's trash can needed fresh coat of paint. Painted an extra layer. Does that mean I need to... That's the one that stands out. Huh. March 3rd. Tried painting the large tree in the park, but the weather was too hot. Cooled down on a bench in the sheltered area and had an epiphany. March 26th. Replaced a screw in the purple park bench. Oops. And then it's a combination lock. Fuck! It's symbols! My first thought was it was going to be 2-3-1. Or I guess 3-1-2, since, you know, American style. Or no, this is written that way, huh? Whatever. I thought it was going to be, like, those numbers, because that's the impossible one. But now I'm thinking I need to find a painted trash can? Some cult symbols on the wall over here. Huh, they changed the fence since, uh, the last time I was here. There's no door from that side now. I definitely came out the back door of the, uh, the precinct and then walked into this place. Although I don't think there was a, uh, a in fairness, I don't think there was a, a door on this side back then. That's disappointing. I can't even let me check it and see that it's locked. Alright, uh... Park. That looks like a park. With a path running through it. This is the first one I've seen with the symbols, where the thing isn't right next to the thing with the symbols on it. What's that? Reminder! All entrants for DeerFest's annual deer hunt competition need to register by the 15th. Oh, well, this is definitely a park. What's up? You remember how it went last time? The sacrifices we made? The pain? It's happening again. Are you okay? Are you talking to me? We learned from the last time, didn't we? Fought our way through it. Held fast. And now look at us. As thick as thieves. She's not looking at me. What if I walk real close to that guy over there, the one I said sup to? Nice tie. Very professional. Are you okay? He's just kind of staring... 
No, he's staring directly at the lamppost. Okay, great. Oh. Trash can. Uh, trash can! Well, there's, symbol, there's a symbol on the floor here, and there's a symbol painted on that satellite dish up there. Hopefully because of the... Fuck. Is this town hall right here? If this is town hall, that might be the paint job he's talking about. The paint on the, uh, the satellite dish. Oh, there's another one in here. Oh, you're definitely not okay, all twitchy and grabbing at himself like that. You just can't let go of your shoulder, huh? Okay, cult of the tree symbol. Cult of the... Upside down cult of the word symbol. Arrows... I'm sure whatever is coming is going to be a cakewalk. This fucking town, man. And uh, triangles pointing to the left and right, but there's also God's eyes over here. Actually, what am I doing? Uh... Usually it's more obvious than that. And another lunchbox. Um, you want to give me a hand here, Saga? Why does the camera keep going way over here? God damn it. It doesn't mark the lunchbox on the map. Is it in this corner? No. She said it as I walked past this tree. Ah, it's behind the tree. Or is this several trees? I don't know what's going on there. Why are they all coming out of the same spot? Oh. I think that shape is called a triskelion? Maybe not. You wouldn't believe how hard it was to track down these lunchboxes. Thank goodness for the internet. I prefer to capitalize the I in internet, but whatever. I don't think that's a strict rule anymore. I just find it very rude to do otherwise. That yeah, guy's not having a good day. Oh, fuck. I get it. It's the order, isn't it? But what's up with February 31st? February 31st would actually be March 3rd, assuming it's not a leap year. There was one on March 3rd. If there were multiple on March 3rd, those are the ones I'm uh, looking for. You okay, buddy? Just peeking into this thing here? You're not a member of the cult, are you? Because if you are, I'm more than willing to change my tune and shove this rifle halfway up your ass before I pull the trigger. And neither of us would enjoy that, let me assure you. You less than me. Oh, there's paint next to it. Look at that. Um... Right. Okay, so... Tra hmm. Hmm! Tried painting the large tree in the park, but the weather was too hot. Cooled down on a bench in the sheltered area and had an epiphany. What's the order they come in? Okay, poor TV reception is January 1st. Uh, trash can is February 31st. And, uh, the... Oh, for fuck's sake. 
Wait. There was no giant moose statue in the park, for the record. No, no, not this way, this way. Yes, 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 yes. I'm just blind. Maybe there is one here. Or maybe they'll put one here and make me look fucking crazy. Hey, you got anything else crazy to say, speaking of which? I think she actually shrugged. Oh, yes. Uh, Okay, bench? No, wait, no, the bench was in the covered area. One in the front of the bench in the covered area is the cult of the word. I mean, cult of the tree symbol. January 1st, the one about the uh, reception is... Look at that, it is Town Hall. Is, uh... Upside Down Cult of the Word symbol. I'll go put that one in first. I don't want to have to run back and forth, but... I don't remember the order the other two came in. And also, they were on the same day, so I don't know what to make of that. First thing I'm going to put in the upside down. Oh, is on the upside down cult of the. No, it's a regular one. Duh. That looks like a W. This one. The one looks like mountains. Park's trash can. Then the bench. And the trash can was right next to. These uh, triangles, pointing left and right. And the other one was... Um... Oh, maybe that's what it is. There's no giant moose statue. There's no purple park bench. Uh, damn dogs keep digging up the flowers? Uh... Yeah, maybe the trick is that those things aren't really there, and they're just on this paper to be distractions. Well, I'm gonna go check, just to be on the safe side. Uh, that way. I think that's in deer on the uh, weather vane. Isn't a rooster more traditional? I mean, it's this town, so I get it, but... Huh. Right! Cult of the uh, tree symbol. Radio tower over there. Wait... Uh, hard to say. There's one in that direction. Got to put the special A in there for the cult of the uh, tree. Can't believe I didn't notice. It looked like the letter is A W. Aha! Monsters live in the woods. On graph paper. Fuck yeah. Uh, cult stashes. Here we are. Stash found behind the Bright Falls Sheriff's Station. Jesus. Hiding in plain sight. Surrounded by those twig triangles, too. Alex Casey, lunchboxes. Lunchbox found in the Bright Falls Park. Hmm. 
This was just left out in the park for anyone to find. And yet no one had opened it before I got there. Interesting. I think I'll head out to the lake first, if only because I'm morbidly curious about the Ed Booker thing. Why am I going in that direction? I do, I kind of want to see if I can go into Town Hall. Or find the Dope Fish reference, one or the other. I do remember the bit where uh, Barry runs into the hardware store we can't get into and then comes out covered in Christmas lights. That was nice. You know, it's only just now occurred to me to wonder how the fuck he powered those. And I want you to note, I played that game for the first time in, like, 2012. Oh, drat. I've just realized the time. Bank of Bright Falls. Great deals for first-time home buyers. That's what our small business loans. Shop local. I'll just drive out there. It will be fine. The save point near the entrance. There's always a save point near the entrance. You know, because it's a video game, but also because Alan is writing for convenience. The first game, as I've said, relied entirely on auto saves, but I kind of preferred the fact that you got one every single time you found a, uh... A safe haven, which there are admittedly lots more of in the first game than in this one. Like, at least at the beginning of the game, you could almost always see the next uh, safe haven from, from just outside a safe haven. Oh, that's our car right there. License plate BHZ3605. Cauldron Lake. I wonder if she drives with her flashlight on. Was there a significance about that map board and the thing next to it? Just gone out already, huh? How is my ammo looking? Bad! Okay, great. I gotta get the stealth weapon out. Someone has thrown out a branch, which I don't think you need to do in the woods, but whatever. Fuck me, I haven't been back here in forever. Oh, well, there's one. I needed the bolt cutters to get into this whole area with the rental cabins. The bony-legged path. Hang on, where the fuck is the save point? Ah, there's one. That's the witch's hut. There was a much closer one, surely. I thought there was one... Wasn't there one in the general store? Fuck. I was not expecting that. Fuck. Well, okay, I'll just head down then. In fact, I'll call it here in the beginning of the next video will be me right now heading in there. Out here in the woods, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake 2. Ooh, path is all messed up. Or maybe it's just looked that way always. So I'll see you then when we tramp through the woods and try and solve problems. 
Till then, take care of yourselves. I don't know, tell your loved ones that you love them. And stay in the light. <laughs>